What's going on, everybody? We are back again for another episode review of Survivor, y'all. This is season 46, episode 7 and 8 combined together. Okay, so this is going to be a combined review of the last two episodes that have gone on. Before we get into it, y'all already know who I have up here, my Survivor soul sister, okay? Miss Jana, Miss J, what's going on, sis? How are you? I'm good. I got my lemonade with me today. I got my water with me today, okay? <laughs> and feeling good. Excited to talk about the episodes today. Listen, See what's, I gotta what's happening. Something. I got to say something before we get into it. I don't, I don't, I'm feeling a little something about the pattern of the last three people that got sent home. Okay. Yeah, I don't no know coincidence. It's, it's no coincidence. This is... <laughs> This is how I get every time I'm rooting for everybody black. That's one. That's two. That's three. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's going. Yeah, sorry if this light is a little bit too. Good. No. It's... <laughs> yeah, but the same thing. It's like, wait a minute. I'm. I don't like this pattern. I don't like where this is going. Like what? Like 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 what the hell is going on? If that's how y'all get rid of them, but a homegirl who can't eat papayas or coconuts or mangoes still hanging out <laughs> she should have been gone okay like she should have been gone the episodes were good though very very good especially the double elimination that happened in episode seven aka episode several shout out to Jalinsky for that okay you got a whole ass <laughs> episode named after you um that was especially good as well as episode eight um was it hide and seek i was not mm -hmm, expecting mm -hmm. for for tevin to get voted out on on not that number one that, not I our know. number one oh my i should have been wearing black because i'm in mourning <laughs> you know what you know what we should have had on yellow okay had our Oshun energy going well, out. I got to my Tevin. I got my yellow lemonade. You got so your lemonade. You know what? That. Cheers to you to that. I got my water representing you, my ya. Okay, so we all we we send in the ancestor love to you either way it go, Tevin. I was not expecting that though. So let's just real quick get into episode. I will say uh, Tevin held his own when he did get blindsided like that. He so. did. He he did. I. All three were complete blindside. They <laughs> literally did not see that coming. And I felt bad for them. I would hate to be in that situation of a blindside. That's got to be one of the most. When, you, when you're really like really making moves happening and it's like you're you're just in it. You're already seeing the end. You're not ready to leave yeah. yet again. But the number one rule is if I ever you feel comfortable on Survivor, you're going next. You're going Don't you home. Never feel Don't comfortable. Ever get comfortable. You're never supposed survivor. to feel comfortable. <laughs> I don't care how many immunity idols you have in your pocket. You still there's exactly like you said. That's another that one part. The, you, the more comfortable you get, comfortable your ass is going home because that's when they blindside your ass when you least expect it. So the um, starting of episode seven was fresh off of the Mariah vote. Now Venus automatically thinks that Soda is the one that voted for her because she was the only one that had her name brought up. Venus was so obviously she thinks it's Soda automatically. She goes to Soda. They start having a back and forth, which irritates Tevin. This is all, and yeah, it is for two reasons. Because it's like, again, here we go. But then, and then Venus wants to take ownership of something that's not hers as usual. Right, exactly. And as that does, you know, kind of filter into episode eight. Afterwards, when Tevin is voted off, I mean, I'm sorry, when Soda gets voted off on, on this episode, Venus thinks it is her idea that all of that happened at the same time i understand where tevin's frustration was with that but what why didn't you see anything like why keep quiet about that if if you felt like that was your big move to do and you say you want to save that and wait till this is that and da, 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 da. no if that was your move and you did i that, love how people do a lot of talking to the camera and then just sit in their stuff like somebody. I mean, Jim must did the same thing, talking to the camera, yes. all that mess. I'm going to use it because I never feel comfortable. And then let it sit in her pocket the whole as they read time. her name. Now, you know who, if 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 Venus don't get sent home next, as cocky as that bitch is. If they don't send her ass home, Venus has all the potential to win. 
He has all the potential to win. And they were going after Ben in the last episode. Like, oh, what made what? you look at Ben when Venus is in talking over here, talking over there, talking uh, and making shit up? On top of that, and then a lot of it is her own ins insecurities and, and her mm -hmm. wanting to be nosy and want to be in the end of everything and, you know, this, that, and the other. Like, there was a situation, well, not even a situation, there was a part where her and Maria were talking when she was going to Maria. And it's like, well, who are you voting for and who are you going to do this and what are you going to do this? And Maria had to finally let her know, like, look here, the problem with you is you come on way too goddamn strong and I don't like that. And I can't really work with you when you basically put me in a corner to where you want all this information for me. And hold up, La Mama, pump your brakes. I'm still trying to get to know you. I don't even trust you. So why would yeah, I? Yeah, like you, you didn't even ask me my name, girl. This was like two minutes after the merge, all up in my face. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't like that. I don't work well like that. <laughs> I, you know, I don't work well under the conditions. You know, mm -mm. another condition I really don't work well under and it's getting on my nerves and it is cute. Yes. <laughs> Great minds think alike. Q is real cocky with it. And for no reason. Oh, girl, no reason. don't get me started. For and no <laughs> reason. He literally has this godfather complex of if you don't play the way I want you to play, if you don't make the moves that I want you to make, then I'm going to cancel Christmas for you. It's lights over. It's over with. Sir, you don't even have a good game. You play in your damn stuff. Like, like no, basically to at least Tevin family. had a game. Tevin had a game. You know, at least Maria has a game. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. at least Hunter has a game. And, and, and all and these, like, these all cues is like shooting blank, shooting blank, shooting blank. And he's throwing shit at a wall and seeing what stick. Like his weird analogy for things, like the whole hide and seek that they did on episode eight. Q wanted to play hide and seek. I'm sure it was really, you know, boring around camp or whatnot. And his whole premises behind that was I want to see how well people hide because that's going to let me know whether or not I can trust you. And like, I don't know how that works. I how still, the that's like fuck reaching. does that work? He was like, see, Tiffany, she He's has delirious. this red thing on her head. Mm, can't trust you. You're like, you're not a good hider. And and Hunter, oh, you, I can't trust you. That was a big mistake. You hid in plain sight. I can't trust you. And and Ben, you you hid too good. You was hiding. You was hiding in plain sight. I can't and trust where you. Would you. What does that mean? Q? What, how would you have done based off of your assessment? Where would your big black ass have hit at? <laughs> Winton? I didn't get the analogy behind that whatsoever. And he just reminds me of one of those men that love the sound of their own goddamn voice. Mm -hmm. You make up shit as you Get go. somebody's uncle out now, please. And y'all mm -hmm. had the opportunity. He showed yeah. you his wild ass colors, and y'all said squirrel. <laughs> y'all just said squirrel over there. Hopefully, <laughs> Tiffany and Kenzie, because I, I see Tiffany, her her mind is like Tiffany, not stupid by far. Tiffany sees like, hold on, this nigga cute. He, I'm gonna have to roll with him for only so much longer, and then I'm gonna have to sacrifice his ass. You know what I'm saying? Which is very sweet of her. I see that. I see that. And hopefully Tiffany can pull that together with Kenzie and they can pull something out from there. But keeping Q around, I feel like it's going to be dangerous. I mean, Just, he made him captain of the island. And nobody said Kang Q. This ain't Kang Q. This and thing. he made himself the, the, the head of the island when he felt and it's like got, it's gotten Like, he don't even like to listen to anybody's game plan anymore. Like, he's just interrupting people left and right and saying it's his island, basically. And people... <clears throat> said, people want to listen. People want to listen, listen to him for I whatever reason. I still I, don't I, get it. Yeah. I don't understand why. Now, now how is and, that dangerous? How is that not dangerous? And Ben is. There's, I, I didn't, I didn't uh, like. Okay, the the Tim vote, I sort of got that. 
You know what I mean? Because you really didn't know what sort of game. I don't even really know. If he him, didn't know what, what game, game play. No. So somebody like that, you can't really trust, especially when you don't even feel comfortable. Like, who was your number one? You said it was Ben. Okay, we didn't know that until you getting ready to get voted out that Ben was your number one. You know what I mean? Yeah, you like, kept I, saying Maria. And then you get mad at Q because... Q goes to your quote unquote number one before you had the chance to chop it up with him. You should have threw her name out there like that in the first place. Or you should have told her as soon as you got back, hey, this is what I got going on. So if nothing else, you can at least have some sort of alliance built up with her. Even though you don't even know she got her own little thing going on with Hunter. Like that, that was bad gameplay on his end. So for them voting him out, I get that. They need to vote off Venus ass next. I'm sorry, because Venus is dangerous. She yeah, she's has a, a potential. Card. She's a wild card. And she's and trying she to get no up in everybody. She has no loyalty but herself. But in a, in, in a little bit of a way, you can't blame her just because the mm -mm. tribe that she was on, they didn't fuck with her in the first place. Yeah, so the only really person have... she liked or had a connection with left and got hurt. She hasn't had anything solid this whole time. No. So she's she's a wild card. She gonna do whatever to save Free her Asian. own ass. Yes, mm -hmm. as long as it's not her name on the parchment paper, that's all that matters to her, which is good. <laughs> right. So on episode several, there was an immunity challenge. They were both split up into six groups. They had to stand on this little perch, see who lasts for the longest. Okay, now Maria ends up pulling it off for the tribe that she was on. Kenzie ends up pulling it off for the tribe that she was on. Mm -hmm. I think they both did good. I was proud of them. That's why I wanted to bring up that immunity challenge. They did that. They won it. And I was proud of them. Girl power. I was especially proud of Maria. Maria said, mm -hmm. you know, I, I for that moment, I thought about myself. It was about me, my own game. And I needed to do this for me. And I'm, I'm rooting for Maria. You know, I Maria was too. my number two. I'm not going to lie. Tevin was my number one. But now my all of my cards are on Maria. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's my girl. Maria, mm -hmm. Tiffany, and then maybe Kenzie, because I really wasn't feeling Kenzie at a point in time. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't feeling her. I, in the beginning, I was, but then when it got to episode, the next episode, when she was trying to pull that slick shit with um, Banu and Jess, I was like, mm, 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 you already trying to take them out too quick. I don't really like that for you, but she's a good-ass player, so mm -hmm. I can't knock mm -hmm. her for that. She's a real good-ass player, so I was happy that they won that. Mm -hmm. Um Q claims he jumped off the perch on purpose to test the loyalty of his alliance. Q, if you don't sit your dumb ass I down, mean, you, you're just shit. doing tests out of nowhere for no reason. We're already at the damn challenge. What's the point of doing the test at the damn challenge? <laughs> he, makes, <laughs> he makes no fucking sense. No, he doesn't. He and it's all about no him. Sense. And he like he wants to like act in this martyr victimhood whenever after his actions. It's just that not necessary. No and I'm not gonna no. blame it on the lack of rice. No. It's the lack of integrity. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And again, I I don't know what, what the whole logic is behind. I wonder what what is he? Oh no, they said he sells real estate. I was like, I wonder what is he doing in real life that has him? Is he really a coach or what is it that he does? Because has his to logic be and his time. thinking. Mm -hmm. It's just nonstop <laughs> gameplay for him and any. This episode, it got to be full time. No, he didn't show <laughs> doing that full time. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. It's definitely Pee Wee. Pee Wee. Pee Wee League, if anything mm -hmm. else. If any, if so, any, yeah. When it came down, you know, they get to the, the tribal council and whatnot. When it came down, ultimately, Tim was the one that was, because it came between Ben and Tim. Again, I don't see, in, in, in Tim's defense, he didn't want to give up one of his SEGA members. Which I totally get. You want to keep your alliance together, um, but at the same, I, I just didn't understand what everybody else, aside from Ben, is really likable, and we don't want to take him to the end. I feel like that is the dumbest reason. In the next I, couple of seasons of Survivor, like y'all, use your head. Stop all that. Oh, they're likable, and they got a sob story at the end, and so I don't want them to make it to the end. That's fucking dumb. That is so stupid to me. That's not a good enough reason to vote anybody off. 
Like it needs to be for gameplay and strategically, like who you're gonna vote. Not because, uh, and and that shouldn't even be a strategy. Because I agree. Like, oh, it's just not because what does that have to do at the end when you're? It just doesn't make sense. I, it, it I understand at the beginning of the seasons, but now we're right. at 40, forty several. Forty several, exactly. Shout out to you, Jalinski. That that shouldn't even be a a, a logical strategy. Any goddamn way to get rid of anybody, but ultimately, um, Tim was voted out, and that's how that episode ended there. Now, again, I wasn't really upset because I wasn't really here for Tim. Okay, when it came to that. So the next tribe goes up. Oh, and that's what it was. Between the two teams, whoever got voted out first, they was going to go to tribal council um, first. And then whoever stood up last the longest, they was going to go to tribal second. And that person voted out would actually be the first person that is on the, the jury. On the jury. Mm -hmm. So when the next tribe comes in, um, who was on that next one? It was... So the mainly Nami. Yes, it was all the, mm -hmm. the rest. It was Maria, Charlie, Kevin, Liz, uh, you know, Venus and Soda. So mm -hmm. it came, it was between Venus and Soda, but Venus, you know, she she feels like she put the wheels in motion to get rid of Soda. Okay, mm -hmm. because all the votes were on her at first. She feels like she was the one that set that in motion. However, from what we see, I, I did see Tevin, or at least that's the way the production presented it to us that Tevin was the one that put Soda's name out there first because he felt like she was a social butterfly like da 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 da, -da around talking <laughs> with everybody. So when it came down to the votes, Soda was the one that was blind. And Soda was hurt, girl. Tim cried yeah. too, but Soda was hurt. Her. Like she actually like because she did not like, see that one coming. No. Not at all. She I wonder did she even have an inkling of it at all. Probably not. <laughs> I felt so bad for her. So bad for her. But Tevin said he made, uh, he promised Soda that he would never write her name down. So he didn't write her name down. So that's why he ended up writing Venus's name down. So from that, Soda ends up going home. Then I was like, ooh, another black person voted out. Damn. Okay. That's what that is. <laughs> so then we get to, what is it, episode Eight, eight hide and seek okay mm -hmm. they're fresh up off of that vote ben is upset because his bestie tim ended up going home That's that right. was his number one run there right now um everybody from the tribe is basically well tevin is really surprised that venus is still there and that's when mm. Venus is at the camp afterwards. And she's basically like, yeah, I did this. I got this going. I did this and blah, 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 blah. That's how he overhears it. That's yes. right. Because she's out there at camp telling everybody, yeah, I did Laving this. Away. I set this up, blah, 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 blah. Tevin is just there listening. And after he listens, he goes back to Liz. And he's got, I ain't gonna lie, he had this sinister ass laugh and the smugness <laughs> about him. Even though Tevin is my number one, I ain't gonna lie, he was very smug about it. He was like, oh, 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 oh. oh that's right, that's right. Yes, yes. He was the one that set it up and she did it together. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm just going to relish in that. I was like, Tevin. He was there, you know. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you, but it's all gameplay. <laughs> he was tickled. He was real, real tickled. Yes, okay? he was. Now this then upsets Liz. Well, irritates Liz because Liz is like, "Wait a minute, you wasn't the only one that had something to do with that Venus vote. Like I was basically in every vote. I like every decision when it ultimately came down who to vote. I was a part of that as well. It wasn't just you." So just like Tevin is irritated with Venus for taking the credit for everything, Liz is now irritated with Tevin for basically mm. taking the credit for everything as well. And she was like, wait a minute, I was in this and I made decisions on this as well too. So Liz is like, uh-uh, boo-boo, now you got to go. So Liz sort of starts to start that campaign to get the whole, to get Tevin out. Liz was the one that started that. So I'll give you your little, you know, your, your little points or whatever on that, right? <laughs> Now, Charlie is noticing that Q is the one that's basically trying to run yeah. this whole camp, you know, with the whole plus mm -hmm. one alliance and yeah, whatnot. 
And Charlie zeroing in on him. Mm -mm, not at all. Charlie's Charlie been very quiet and diligent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Charlie is another one I see really having the potential to win. If he kind of sits back and keeps playing stuff the way that he is, let everybody else sort of be the 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 the, the, How the come loud no one's one picked up on there. him. How come no one's picked up on it? Let everybody else be the loud ones out. And I'm going to ride with you. I'm going to co-sign with whatever it is that you got them say. But when you least suspect that I'm going to get your ass and Q better watch out. I hope Q ain't next, but Q better goddamn watch out. Now, that's when they play hide and seek again. And then that's when Q, for whatever reason, he's still not a science guy. Some of <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Oz, he can analyze people. Dr. Bill last nigga. Right, he thinks time, he can. Venus is very good on reading people. She was reading she people's is. bodies. She, she actually good. is. I give her mm -hmm. that. That's why I say y'all gotta watch that bitch. Mm -hmm. Y'all gotta watch her ass because she definitely has the potential to win. If they're not smart and they don't get rid of her ass, she gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> and won't think twice. She gonna do it. No. Now let's get to this immunity challenge, girl. The Please. challenge was... The one that I think is, I think is fun. I would not do that, but that's where they have mm -hmm. to see who holds on to the pole for the longest. And it was two hours. Who was the one that did it? I, I, I cannot think of his name. Ozzy. Ozzy in Survivor history was the one that held on the longest. He held on for two hours. Now, the catch was, if Jeff can get four people to sit out, then he'll give them a bag of rice. The rest to of everybody last else mm -hmm. to last the rest, to the the rest of the season, mm -hmm. right? If you don't get them four people, they don't get the rice. Everybody had to compete. Now, Charlie was like, look at Jeff. We just sat out here in this goddamn jungle playing hide and go seek. And we were competitive. <laughs> we was real with it. Ain't nobody finna give up the opportunity of trying to get immunity. Because like Charlie was saying, we all need immunity at this point. Mm -hmm. So nobody yeah, wanted to sit out for it. Mm -hmm. And so when goddamn Jeff got rid of that rice, I was like, what are you niggas? I mean, at the same time, I don't blame them. <laughs> but no, I was telling um, it this is like this is like a I got you kind of thing. Because mm -hmm. it's it really does tell on you whether or not you feel safe or not. Yeah. Or like whether you feel safe that you have a strong alliance or you have an advantage or you have an immunity. Like you feel safe if you choose to step out. That's the gotcha part. That's where your target is on your back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't have did it either be quite honest with you. I wouldn't have did it either just because especially if I don't have no immunity idol, I'm not going to do it. No, I'm, I'm going to work for that. Yep. I'm not going to risk my shit like that, okay? So, <laughs> no. ultimately, who ends up winning that? But before we get into that, it mm -hmm. was it Liz and Q that did step out? And then they tried to Liz. negotiate. Yeah, they, they tried to. Um, who else was that that they were wanting to step out? Who Q was? definitely was. Yeah, because you think he's the king of the tribe that would have been a perfect opportunity if nothing else right there if you really had like a uh, an alliance on the side gave each other that week okay let, he said he gonna sit out fuck it let me get this sit out too so when we get to tribal council we can vote his ass out there you go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they've been thinking about it but um <laughs> Who ends up holding on the longest? Why didn't I write that Hunter, down? Hunter, 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 Hunter. That's Hunter. right. Hunter <laughs> ends up winning, which I don't think he had a vote anyway. So it was good that he had no, that's um, right. immunity. That's right. So it was good that he ended up winning anyway. Now, when it comes down to it, Tiff tells Q that they want to vote for Tevin. Q don't like that because it's not his goddamn idea. Did you notice that? Yeah, I do. Q I did. A little bit that's that's he when like, he's combative. No. Mm hmm. He's like, no, we need to do it this way, and that don't make no sense. It's because it's why like he his threw way. the damn thing. <laughs> yep. King baby, queen baby. That's a term used in, in addiction. It's, it's you, a king you're baby, queen baby. <laughs> yes, it's whatever my way, my way. And if not, then you mm -hmm. throw your tantrum. And that's exactly he what he did at yeah. tribal. Yep. Oh, and so, yeah. So when it came to tribal council, it was another one of those live ass tribals that's going on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? 
at that point, I don't see why Tevin didn't really pick up on what the hell was going on. Because everybody's having conversations around you and you just sitting there. He didn't pick up on that then? He didn't even jump into conversation? No! He was just sort of like, and we have live tribal, Jeff. Like, sort of, I, which I get it, it's, it's fun, but it's like he, he got in a conversation. Read the room, there. man. Hello. Come on, man. Why don't Kevin. you ask somebody? And then the people that's in your alliance is having conversations with other people. And you're not thinking, hold on, what are they talking about? Let me go ahead and jump on up in this. I don't know this I'm new like, plan. Mm -hmm. oh, Tevin, what's going on? What's going on? So once again, it came down to Tevin or Venus. And Tevin was very confident that if he had had the vote. Everything was going to work out. Venus was going to go home because for whatever reason, he cannot stand Venus ass. He hate that bitch. He ready for her ass to go home. I told you that. Remember, I said they could be a really strong alliance because it's main character energy, but they could easily be repel so quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Which I'm going to ask you when we get off of here how that was. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about what we got up here. Anyway, so it ended up coming down to Tevin and Venus, and Tevin got completely blindsided. Yes, which it pissed me off. If nothing I, else, I dropped. I was just watching. Just I, I was not prepared for that. I was, no! I was, I was oh. you'd have thought somebody done ran over my dog or something, girl. I was like, what? Not again. And then again, like I said, this pattern of my, my brothers and sisters. Be, first it was Tim. Then it was Soda. Then it was Tevin. We ain't got nobody but Q and Tim left now. I'm going to need y'all to hold on now. If Q go, I ain't going to lie. If he go, he go. Because at this he point, go. he working on he my go, goddamn go. nerves. Mm -hmm. But Tim, Tim, I'm going to need you to hold on, girl. We is rooting for you. Even if He's that on. means you got to finally use Idalisha, then you need to use Idalisha. You need, yeah, okay. you, yeah, you need to go ahead and, and pull Sus out. Because we... Mm -hmm. We want to see the box braids win. We want to see the box braids win. I'm saying. Who is your prediction for who you think is going to get voted off next? It's either going to be Venus. It ha it's Venus is already just. So it's it's either going to be Venus. And then maybe Liz. I'm looking at the people who haven't been really getting a lot of get, uh, camera time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Liz finally pulled a move. So mm -hmm. by episode eight, she finally did something. Right. Um, hopefully Ben's not on the chopping block. I would hope not, cause Ben is so sweet. Ben ain't did nothing to nobody. He's just up and there he's playing chilling. a fair game. He, he really is. is when he needs to. He yeah. is. Yeah, he like the bullet, and he plays fair. So hopefully, hopefully Venus goes home next to me. I'm sorry. I yes, I Hunter said it. Hunter doesn't have like a revenge vote on anybody. I know that was his number one, but mm -hmm. he's gonna have to. Figure it out because he's been free agent this for the last few episodes and he right. understands that. I know he wasn't banking on Tevin either leaving. So, right. He, right. but he's smart enough that he can re strategize. Right. He can. <laughs> Let's, hope so. Yes. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Anything else you got before we get on up out of here, sis? Just, um, I hope next week. Is enough. Well, the last this episode eight was finally like a fun, fun it was ass fun. episode. Yes. So it let's was keep good. this it was energy really good. up, please. Finally saw some stuff happening. Let's keep this energy. Let's get Venus out of here. Let's get Venus out of here, Tiff. We rooting for you, girl. Okay. <laughs> this has been Survivor 46, episode seven and eight. We appreciate y'all for coming through and watching us. And we are out. See you guys.